Hello and welcome to the weather update. It's about 7.30, February 17, 2019, and uh, quite a warm day out there and a downright hot day if you were in Jersey. Um, right now, looking at the temperatures, they're in the mid-60s across Long Island, maybe closer to 70 on the North Shore in the city. They're in the low 70s, and as we look at Jersey, temperatures, it looks like they've dropped a little bit, at least according to this, uh, Ventu Sky down at the low 70s, but if we do back up the temperatures, and look at what the way things were around 4 o'clock, you'll see the heat in Jersey was pretty intense. So while we were in the upper 60s and low 70s on Long Island, temperatures were well into the 80s in Jersey. Uh, uh, very hot there today. Uh, as you can see, temperatures really much hotter there. Again, that wind coming off the land, that hot wind, whereas we have the wind coming off the ocean, so it's cooler for us uh, and therefore not as bad. Uh, looking at the dew points, it's humid out there too. Take a look at the dew points, you can feel the humidity. Uh, dew points in the upper 50s and low 60s across the area. Uh, looking at the wonder map, uh, we can uh, see uh, some uh, temperatures that are in the, uh, again, backing up temperatures in the mid 60s. Looks like it's a little cooler out of the east end, low 60s out there. And again, as you go into Jersey, you got the heat. Uh, so let's look at the radar and see uh, what we have on the radar. So we do have a shower, a couple of, we had a couple of light showers around. These look like some heftier showers now coming in from the uh, northern New Jersey. This is probably going to move over New York City and the western part of Long Island within the next hour or so. Nothing severe out there, just some showers, probably not even thunderstorms. It's, it's not going to be that strong. Maybe some thunderstorms over here, uh, but nothing terrible. Uh, so we'll uh, take a look at some of the airport observations from the air. You can see that's a 75 in Central Park right now, so it is warmer in the city. 67 at Farmingdale Airport, dew point 56. And looking at the high temperature today reached at Farmingdale Airport, it reads 69 degrees. Uh, if we go further out east, it'll be even cooler. If we look at West Hampton, uh, it'll probably be even cooler there. If we can uh, look at that, that would be good. If it would load, that would be good. We know that we have issues with that. Yeah, right, 60 degrees at West Hampton. And temperature there reached 66 degrees. So uh, we look at Islip. See what the temperature reached at Islip. 65 uh, right now, and it hit 71 at Islip. So we'll work our way west now into New York City. Uh, so it's much warmer in the city, 75 at Central Park, and it hit 76 there. So the city was warm, but we can still go somewhere even hotter. And that, of course, is New Jersey, and uh, the highest place in New Jersey, of course, being Tom's River, where it is still 78 degrees there. 78 degrees, do point up to 60, and there it hit 85. Oh, my God, 85 in Tom's River. Wow, I'm telling you, that is a hot place. That is a hot place. Ooh, all right. Well, it will get cooler tomorrow. So uh, it will get cooler tomorrow. So we have a cold front moving through. Uh, we're going to look at the temperatures and show, show this cold front to you moving through uh, the area tonight. And it will bring cooler air for us tomorrow. Temperatures tomorrow will be around 70 degrees for most of Long Island, which is really where they were today. Um, so it won't be that much of a cool down today, but for Jersey it will be. Uh, it'll be in the mid-70s probably there, so it'll be 10 degrees cooler uh, behind that front. And I'll show you the dew points. It'll be drier. And things start warming up by Sunday again, and Monday is going to be a brutal day. Pro well, actually, it's backed off a little bit, the GFS, on how brutal it'll be. Uh, some of the earlier runs had it even hotter than this. Uh, but I think it's going to be very humid. Uh, Tuesday, we cool down. Wednesday, uh, slightly above average. And then for Thursday, Thursday now is saying this is going to be the hottest day. The temperature is reaching the 80s everywhere. It might not even be a sea breeze on Thursday. And for Friday, it cools down a little more. Eh, still hot. Still hot for Friday. Still hot for Saturday. So we're getting into a hot pattern uh, with this ridge now that is built in the east which we'll look at in a minute, so I'm not going to go beyond that. But you can see temperatures remain above normal through the rest of the month. Uh, so uh, we do have a pattern flip where we now have a ridge in the east instead of, a, of, of the uh, trough. Uh, 
Uh, so uh, here we go. Here are the dew points. So you see, look at them coming down tomorrow. It'll be drier tomorrow. Dew points still tolerable on Long Island Sunday. It starts coming up in New Jersey. Uh, but Monday is going to be quite humid. Dew points into the mid 60s. And we see the dew points drop again on Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, and uh, Thursday, they start to come up a little bit. Still not too bad, though. Still, the dew points still are not too high. Uh, we go into Friday, yeah, we start to see some more humidity in the air, and then the dew points come back down again for next weekend. Um, so, uh, that is what is uh, going on with the, in respect to the dew points. Uh, now we'll look at the skies and see when we can get some clear skies. I don't think we're going to really see any clear skies tomorrow. There's going to be a lot of cirrus around, you can see that here, according to the GFS. Sunday, uh, there's probably still lots of cirrus. Monday, uh, be a lot of clouds around. Maybe Tuesday we can get rid of some of the clouds for a little bit. We might be able to on Tuesday. Uh, for Wednesday, uh, more clouds again. Thursday, plenty of clouds. There's probably a lot of these are high clouds. Friday, Saturday, yeah, Sunday. It's going to be fairly cloudy with the with that ridge in place, uh, bringing all the moisture into the our levels of the atmosphere. So, like I said, we can't get the dry dry air that they get out west. And you're going to be jealous when we go over some of these temperatures out west, too, in a minute. Uh, in Flagstaff, it's actually been quite refreshing if we were in Flagstaff, but we're not. So, uh, looking at... Uh, now, the NAM has a little more clear sky tomorrow, so hopefully maybe the NAM will have some more blue sky, but I expect a lot of cirrus around. Uh, uh, Sunday, you can see, yeah. So, again, good amount of cloudiness. I'm not going to even look at the precipitation on the here because there's really not going to be much precipitation for the next 24 hours. Just a couple of showers tonight. It's dry tomorrow. Um, we can look at it, but there's really not a whole lot going on. Um, you'll see here. Uh, the only action we have is tonight, and then it's dry for Saturday, and it's dry for most of Sunday too. So uh, maybe just a slight. Yeah, it's going to be, we're going into a drier pattern, so we're not going to have all the rain at least. Uh, we're going into a drier, warmer pattern uh, that uh, we're experiencing. So now let me go and look at the Natona's view, and we will show you the jet stream. Actually, let me go back to the GFS here, I'll show you the jet stream, show you what jet stream patterns are occurring now. So um, as we head into Saturday, you can see this ridge building in the east. Here's the jet stream going way up into Canada, and uh, here's the trough in the west again. So uh, we're back to an above normal pattern in the east. You could see that huge ridge, but meanwhile we have some really deep troughs in the west here that are going to bring in some pretty refreshing air for them while we get to deal with more humidity. Uh, and you can see just this jet stream is a mess. And again, got this huge ridge in the east with this huge trough in the west. So it's going to be hot in the east, cool in the west. Uh, and that's going to be the way the pattern looks like it's going to be setting up for the rest of this month. Uh, unfortunately, if you don't like the heat, it's not great. But uh, again, if we will see more sun, so uh, that, that's that's good. We'll see more sun and less rain. But uh, on the flip side of it, we got to deal with the heat. So when we go and we look at the, te the uh, temperatures, uh, we'll look at this uh, here. So we'll go look at the temperature, actual air temperatures as we go into Saturday. You can see the heat in the east in this whole uh, ridge here building where, where it's cool, very cool in the west. And that's that's what you're going to see as we go throughout the week. That's the pattern trend that we have. Ridge in the east and a trough in the west. So the east will be dealing with the heat and the west will be dealing with cooler temperatures while we get to deal with the heat. Um, now we can also look at precipitation as well. We'll look at the total throughout the, the forecast period, and you'll see out west there's going to be a lot more precipitation because they have the trough, so that's where the storms are going worse. We're not going to see that much. However, it does have, through the end of the period, some more rain affecting our area. So we're going to go to this, and we're going to see what storms possibly could impact our area as far as heavy rain events. So uh, it stays dry through the weekend. We go into next week. Could be a chance of uh, thunderstorms Monday with that front coming through. Tuesday's dry. See that high kind of goes by to the north. Uh, you see this big storm out in the west here that's going to be moving its way east. But we have this ridge here. So you can see this big ridge here that's building across the southeast. And that keeps us above normal, brings in the heat. But it looks like it could be a 
rain event possibly on Monday, May 27th. Um, and uh, we have to watch the tropics too because there's some indication that something might form here. Uh, we're not sure about that right now. So, yeah, that's pretty much the general outlook. Uh, we can look temperature anomaly. It'll also show you where the uh, heat and the cool air is. So, again, very cool out west. You see that uh, very cool out west. In the southwest especially, uh, they're en enjoying some nice, cool, uh, dry weather. Uh, but uh, for the east, we're going to be stuck in the heat. Uh, and, uh, again, it all depends on, you know, you're going to have this. Just when the jet stream's kinked up like this, you're going to have these extremes. And that's what we're going to see more of due to um, climate change. Uh, and I'll just show you the forecast for uh, Flagstaff. We're going to show you how cool it's going to be. Uh, and they're actually going to have a couple of really nice days, too. Uh, just to make you jealous, uh, we'll look at that. So, uh, yeah, they're going to have, but they're going to also have some clouds and storms, too. So, very cool there. 52, dew point 59. And tomorrow, it's going to be mostly sunny. Actually, today, mostly sunny, high 55. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, high 61. And look at this, even a chance of snow on Monday. But the problem is, once you get into this period here, there's going to be a lot of clouds around for them and precipitation. Um, so it won't be sunny. But, uh, they've had, they, you know, they're, they're, they're having some really nice weather. As always, you know, they seem to avoid dealing with the humidity. And, uh, you know, well, we get to be stuck with the humidity. Uh, and uh, that's the last thing I'm going to look at, which almost reminds me. Let's look at the dew points. and show. This really shows you where the warm air is. When you look at this, you see where the dry air is out west and you see all that humidity in the east coming right up off the tropics with that ridge from hell uh there so uh at least we'll have some at least we're going to have some you know breaks where it won't be humid but then there'll be some times where it will be humid uh you know so but at least uh, all i could say is at least we're going to see some more sun so it's going to be more sunshine but it is going to be hotter so uh, keep that in mind if you want a refreshing sunny day i just don't see it so that wraps up this weather update. Uh, we'll look at the satellite, actually, and then we'll wrap up the weather update. So uh, you can see here lots of cirrus on the horizon. So that's why I don't think it's going to be clear tomorrow. I think there'll be a lot of clouds, high clouds around. Won't be a nice blue sky, but maybe we'll get lucky. Anyway, that wraps up this weather update. Take care, and thank you for watching.